Hi, my name's Keith, and in this video, I'll show you a common failure mode on the Sequential Circuits Profit 5, what might be causing it, and how to fix it. The failure mode I'm talking about is when the two-digit display and the LEDs on the switches blink in a cyclical pattern over and over and over again. Also, when you push a switch, it takes a second or two before the synth reacts, and the tuning is way off. <laughs> This could indicate an issue with the analog to digital and digital to analog components inside the synth. Now this is an analog synth, however, it does use digital to analog and analog to digital conversion to figure out what the position of each of the knobs is, store it in memory, and allow you to recall it later uh, by pushing one of the program select buttons. Now first I'll give you a close-up of the blinking pattern so you can see what it looks like. Before I can explain what might be causing this issue, I have to describe how the synth actually works. There's a CPU inside the synth, it's a Z80, and it's running a program in an endless loop over and over and over again. And what this endless loop does is first samples the values of all of the knobs, then looks to see which switches are being pushed, and then looks to see which keys are pressed on the keyboard, and then it outputs the correct notes on the audio output on the back of the synth. Then it goes back to the beginning and samples all the knobs, then it looks at all the buttons, then it looks at all the keys, and then it outputs the right uh, notes out, out of the audio out on the back. And it goes through this cycle over and over and over again. If at some point when it's sampling the knobs, if the circuits that tell the CPU what position the knob is in get stuck or held up, uh, the synth can take too long to sample all the knobs. Hence this kind of cyclical pattern where things really slow down. Usually it can go through that whole cycle in about 5 or 6 milliseconds, so you won't even notice, and all the lights will be bright, and they'll all be lit up, and you won't see any delay when you push a key. Let me open up the synth, and then I can show you exactly what is doing those functions. This is the synth open and lying on its side, and to the left here is the CPU board and I'll zoom in so that you can see the details better. I also have a logic probe and I'll use it to point to the various chips and also to test levels on the pins. On the left here is the CPU chip, it's a Z80. In the middle is a series of buffer chips. Now they take data lines from the CPU hold them in a steady state, and pass them along to the digital to analog converter. That's usually just called the DAC. The synth is on right now, so if I check the levels on the data pins on the DAC, I should see them pulsing. That's because the CPU is cycling through each of the potentiometers or the knobs in order, and through a series of estimations, finding out what digital value they represent. So first I'll check the first bit. There, it's pulsing, that's good. It might be hard to see in the video. The second bit is pulsing, the third bit's pulsing, the fourth bit's mostly high, but it's pulsing, that's cool. There we go, that's the problem. The fifth bit is into the DAC is stuck into the low position. Now, that problem could be with the DAC itself, the buffer chips, or the CPU. Now, I doubt it's the CPU because the basic synth functionality is working, and if that's the case, the program must be running, and therefore the CPU is probably okay. That leaves the buffer chips or the DAC. Now, while fixing a previous problem, I determined that there was a fault in the DAC, so I had to replace it. So this is actually a brand new DAC, and I'm sure it's working correctly. That leaves the buffer chips. Uh, also, before I started this video, I traced the line for bit 5 from the DAC and I know what buffer pin and number it goes to. So now I'm going to probe the buffer chip um, both on the CPU side and on the DAC side. So that's bit 5 on the CPU side and that's pulsing so that that's okay that looks good. Now I'll um, uh, probe the pin on the DAC side 
Ah, there we go, it's stuck in the low state. So that would indicate that this buffer chip is either dead or faulty. So I'll turn the synth off and replace this chip. Uh, here's the new buffer chip that I just put in. And the synth is on, so let's check the value of the data lines going into the DAC. Uh, that's pin 1, it's pulsing, that's good. Pin 2 is pulsing, that's good. Pin 3 is good. Pin 4 is pulsing, that's good. Ah, uh, there we go, there's pin 5 and it's now pulsing. So it looks like we fixed the issue. So now I'll close the synth up and uh, see if the problem is solved. I just turned the synth on so it's tuning up and in a few seconds the uh, bank and program light should light up. There it is. And none of the lights are blinking and I can change the program no problem. Let's try some notes. <laughs> Success.